Hello everybody, my name is Elamont. Lamont. I am the author of Excel Basics in 30 Minutes, and today I'm going to be talking about Excel 2019, the powerful desktop spreadsheet program from Microsoft, and Excel Online, uh, the free version of Excel that's also available from Microsoft and you use a browser to access. I'm going to compare the two uh, products, uh, compare some of the features, some of the pros and cons of each, and hopefully by the end of this video, which I hope takes less than 10 minutes, You'll have a kind of a good idea of uh, you know which one might be suitable for you. First things first, Excel 2019. This is the Mac OS version of Excel 2019. The Windows version is 98% the same. So the features that I'm talking about here uh, are basically almost all the same. If you open up the uh, the Windows version of it, 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 you know the Home tab will look the same. All the tabs will almost all all look identical. There's a few differences in how you save files. That's that's one big thing that's different. Uh, but for the most part, it's all the same. So I just wanted to get that out there. And of course, if you're using the browser-based version of Excel, that is Excel Online, you need a browser to access it. That means you're using a desktop computer. It could be a Mac, could be Windows, could be Linux, and then you're using a browser like. Uh, Microsoft Edge, or you're using Firefox, or Chrome, or Safari, or something to get into this particular uh, program. And of course, in the browser, everything should look the same, uh, no matter what operating system that you are using. So first things first, Excel 2019, the interface is should look very similar to anybody who's been using Excel for the since I think uh, Excel 2007. Uh, Microsoft has this wind, it's called a ribbon interface. And basically it's like a ribbon of features at the top and then you change tabs to access different features. So this is the insert tab and I can do things like insert, insert a picture, I can insert a map, um, links, comments, etc. And you can kind of go through and take a look at all of the different uh, ribbons that they have. Um, if you go to Excel online, at first glance, the ribbon interface looks almost the same. This is the home tab on Excel Online. And look at that. The features, for instance, you know, the formatting for numbers, the formatting for text, the inserting uh, cells or deleting cells, the auto sum, which lets you insert a function or perform a function on a set of data. That's all the same. Even this new thing that they have in Excel 2019, the ideas, this is a so-called Microsoft Intelligence Service. That means you're connected online to some artificial intelligence that gives you ideas on how to better use Excel. That's the same on the home tab of Excel Online as it is on the home tab of Excel 2019. Here it is. Everything's basically almost the same. However, once you start to dig into the different tabs on Excel 2019 and compare them to uh, Excel Online, you'll see some big differences start to pop up. So let's take a look at Insert. So here we have the Insert tab for Excel 2019. And you can see that there's actually uh, some very sophisticated uh, chart options available up here. And they're all located here, not to mention maps and pivot chart and all that stuff. So let's, let's take this data I have. This is uh, Jennifer. And I'm going to take all of her data for these six months, and then I'm going to make a chart out of it. So basically, you just click on the line. I'm going to click on the 2D, the uh, line chart option that's shown here, and you can see all the different options I have for presenting this data. Like I could just do a data point type of thing, and this, I'm just going to cover up this one. It, this doesn't look that special. The data it's just basically going up in a straight line, but it it it. You know, it conveys information quite easily. And if I want to, I can quickly change the appearance. I can just use these preset options up top to change the way that the data looks. Okay, that's option. That, that's pretty good. Then I can also use this quick layout to eat, to change the data even more. So this, this quick layout option I just chose, this one right here, it basically breaks out the data and then it shows like a little tiny table at the bottom with the data. So you can do some really kind of cool things with that. And actually one other thing I wanted to show you is I'm going to highlight this data again. I could do something like a go to insert, choose the line options. I can do like a, a 3D a, a, a 3D line. I don't know if you can see it that well. Let me just blow that up. But basically the the way that uh, Excel has arranged the data. It's like a 3D appearance. 
and then this line has, is like a it's like a ribbon rising up. So that's pretty cool. And if I wanted to, I could take this this uh, chart right here, and I could use it in a PowerPoint presentation or put it on my website or something else. So that's pretty powerful. So let's take a look and see how Excel Online handles it. So Home tab looks great. All these different features basically identical to Excel 2019. But then if you go to the Insert tab, you'll see that you know it doesn't look like there's as much stuff there. That's the first impression that you get. And actually, if you go to the other tabs, you'll see even fewer options. Whereas in Excel 2019, like Insert, there's many things here. View, completely full. So what, what, what happened is for Excel Online, Microsoft really cut out a lot of the features. And moreover, even if they did include a feature in Excel 2019, like creating a line chart, you'll see it's just not as powerful. What you can do with the data in terms of a chart is just not, not as much. So I'm going to highlight the data in Excel Online and then choose the line chart option. And here are my options. There's basically like six different views of the data and they all look kind of alike. Let's do this one. And you know, right away it's presenting the data in a way that I don't want. I don't even know why this happened, but it's not showing the data that, that I in the way that I want it, which is like a line showing the progression. So first of all, it presented the data wrong and then it only gives me a couple different options. It's basically like these six options. You might be able to do some extra stuff here um, you can like I can show a data table. All right, so you can kind of do something similar, but the like the 3D options they're just not visible. They're not available in the Excel Online. So I found for things like visualizing data, Excel Online is far inferior to Excel 2019. And then as I mentioned, if you go to the other, I'm going to delete this. If you go to the other uh, tabs, there's just not as many features. So uh, view. Look at all these different things I can do. I can be zooming, I can record macros. This is Excel 2019. Um, all these different options. On the View tab for Excel Online, there's just basically a handful of options there. And then some of the options, again, it's not as full featured. So I can like turn on, turn on and off the grid lines in Excel Online. Um, if I go to the Page Layout tab for Excel 2019, not only can I turn off the grid lines on Excel 2019, I can also change them in the printed version. So I can decide whether I want to have no grid lines when I print it out or have grid lines. On Excel Online, when you print out a, a spreadsheet, they just don't show grid lines. So even if you want to add grid lines to the printed output on Excel Online, you just can't do it. Okay? So these little differences start to crop up the more that you use the program, the more that you use the program. I mean, Excel Online can handle the basics, formatting text, formatting numbers, adding cells, deleting cells, using all the, uh, you know, the functions that are so important in Excel. But then when you start to dig into the features, it's just not as full featured. Uh, one other requirement for Excel Online is you need to save documents using OneDrive. So let's, I'll show you what this means. So here I'm trying to save, save as. You'll see it says save as, save a copy to OneDrive. That's the only option you have if, unless, you want to, unless you want to download a copy and then open it up in another program. But if you wanted to save a copy of an Excel spreadsheet on your hard drive and then use Excel online to edit it, you can't do it. You have to save it to OneDrive. OneDrive, by the way, is Microsoft's um, online service that lets you save stuff to the cloud. Um, and, and there's an advantage to you to saving it to OneDrive and for and, and actually for Excel online It makes collaboration a lot easier So if I want to share this document all I need to do is hit the share and then I can type in the email address And then I can start uh, the other person can start collaborating with me in real time, which is really powerful Excel 2019 if you want to share something um, Yes, you can invite people that's only if the document is stored on OneDrive that is Microsoft's online service. If you if you store this document on your own hard drive, if you want to share it, you have to convert it to OneDrive. You have to upload it to OneDrive, and then you can share it. So, um, it, and it will prompt you to do this. It'll say you have to convert it to OneDrive, and then if for some reason you have two copies of the document floating around, one on your hard drive and one in OneDrive, it, all of a sudden you have a split, and maybe it's much harder to. Uh, collaborate or you're doing a change on your hard drive version and then it's not updating in OneDrive. So you can see all kinds of problems might crop up. 
But on the other hand, you can work on it on your hard drive. So if you're on a long flight and you have, first of all, you can't use Excel online if you're on a flight and there's no Wi-Fi. If you have Excel 2019 on your on your laptop, Windows laptop or your Mac laptop, yeah, you can go to town. You can start working on it on that long flight and get stuff done. So there's pros and cons to the way that uh, Excel online and Excel 2019 save files, as you can see. Uh, what else to mention? Oh yeah, uh, in terms of converting files for Excel 2019, if I wanted to uh, save the file, this is the Mac version, it's a little bit different, but basically, save a copy, I can convert it to almost anything. Here are the options for saving. Look, look at this. I can save it as comma separated value, HTML, PDF, all these different types of formats. Whereas if I'm in Excel online, basically I can just save it as one type. Save as, I can either download a copy of the XLSX document, or I can download ODS, which is an open format that I think not many people use. You can't save it as a PDF. You can't save it as comma separated value. So that's a big limitation of Excel online. Uh, finally, let's wrap this up. There's a huge difference in Excel 2019 and Excel online in terms of cost. And this is a big deal to a lot of people. If you don't have a lot of money, Excel 2019 may not be for you. And that's because, let's go back to Excel 2019. This software program, you need to buy it either as a part of Office 2019, and I think the going price for that, the starting price, maybe if you get it on sale, $150 or so. Uh, the regular price is, I think, more than $200 for Excel 2019, or you can get an Office 365 subscription. This is the latest prices for an Office 365 subscription. There's different versions of it. Um, if you get the basic personal version, that is only one user, you can only, I think, use it on, on one device, Annualized cost is $84. That may not sound like much, but remember, you'll probably be using this for a couple of years. So if you're using this for three years, uh, all of a sudden the cost of using Excel, uh, Excel Online and the other Microsoft programs that are part of Office 365, like Word 2019 and uh, PowerPoint 2019, sorry. So Excel 2019, to use it as part of Office 365 Personal for three years would be $252, 84 times three. Similarly, if you're using these other versions of Office 365, the price goes up. That's to use Excel 2019 and the other programs that are part of Microsoft Office. If you're using Excel Online, here's Excel Online, it's free. It doesn't cost anything. All you need is a Microsoft account. And Microsoft account, you may already have one if you have Xbox or Skype or something like that. Or just register. It's free. Microsoft doesn't charge you. Uh, but when you want to use Excel online, you'll just have to sign in with your Microsoft credentials. And it's free, which is pretty good. And for basic spreadsheets, Excel online is fine. Like if I just want to enter some data, create a very basic chart and do some basic you know, functions on this, like calculating averages or summing things up, it's great. And uh, that might be okay for you. And it's also a pretty good alternative to Google Sheets, which is another free spreadsheet program. So cost is a big deal, and Excel Online definitely wins out on cost. So that's my little summary of how to use Excel 2019 versus Excel Online. For more information on how to use both of these products, I've covered it all in Excel Basics in 30 Minutes. It talks about Excel 2019, it talks about uh, Excel Online, and basically shows you how to use Excel. I, it's, it's really uh, written in plain English. This is the third edition I'm on right now. Thousands of people have bought this book. They really liked it. And if you want to find out more information, uh, go to your favorite uh, bookstore, or you can go to in30minutes.com and check it out for yourself. My name is Ian Lamont. I am the author of Excel Basics in 30 Minutes. Thank you so much for watching.